Hey guys, this is Elvesium back again with another concept video for Cuphead. We've been doing these, you know, I'm kind of full of ideas, so I'm getting it out. There's gonna be more gameplay coming, don't you worry about that. If there's something else you wanna see, let me know in the comments and I will get around to that. Before we get into this, I would just like to ask you, 95% of you wonderful, wonderful viewers of my videos are not subscribe to me. So maybe this is going to con uh, convince you to do just that. Click that subscribe button so you can get access to all the videos you desire on my channel. Now, this weapon is going to be very, very specific. After the last one that I uploaded to the channel, which focused on cancelling out the enemy projectiles, I thought to myself, hey, there is one more concept within this concept that is not going to be derivative of this same idea. And by the looks of the icon, I am guessing you can probably tell that this is going to be a magnetic type weapon. Alpethium? Magnetic? What does that even mean? Well, I am glad you asked. So, how I envisioned this weapon to work would be on the principle of charge, where you would have to charge up your attack, but it doesn't end there. You do not want to waste your shot. Uh, the ideal circumstances of you using your shot would be when there's the most enemy projectiles on the screen. So you shoot it at the boss then, and at that moment he just kind of uh, draws, pulls in all of his own projectiles at him. But uh, the thing is here, there would need to be some sort of balancing in place, because we don't know numeric values you know, of the boss attacks, because every every attack that hits you takes just one HP off, while your own attacks that you direct at the bosses, all of them have different numeric values. So there will have to be some balancing done here. As always, uh, these weapons need to have an EX attack, okay, and this one would be the shield. So equal poles. That is how I would name it. You know how on the magnet, the same poles of the magnet, they just push each other away. And uh, this would be a defensive ability. And it would last like maybe two seconds because you cannot have this last too long. So you activate your EX attack, you get a little shield and you basically just send all the projectiles that are coming at you flying. You're just bouncing them off of you. Now, the thing here is that uh, these type of defensive things work the most, work the best in Contra-like games. Even though Cuphead has roots in Contra, uh, games where you have just one life per hit, that is where it works the best. So maybe second and a half, you know, it just gives you this little get out of jail free card for just a moment if you have, especially if you're on your last HP, it might be a really, really cool little mechanic. And uh, as I always do in these games, it's all about spicing up the gameplay. It's all about complementary to all the other existing things in the game, just to spice up the gameplay, because a lot of times we just get into boss fights, you have your mind set on crack shot, for example, and you just don't change it. This would make it so that you are always kind of switching things up. You need to think, you need to pay attention. Not that you don't have to think or pay attention in the game as it is, but this would just bring another layer to it, to an already fantastic game. Guys, this is Elbethium once again. Check out maybe my other concepts that are on the channel already if you enjoy this sort of stuff. And well, I will see you in the next one.